Hola a todos, bienvenidos de nuevo a mi canal, o si eres nuevo aquí, hola, vamos a reaccionar a Monica Naranjo y Europa. Y vamos. So I did dig through the music video just a little bit, just to get an idea of what Monica would be looking like, as far as golden outfit goes, this makeup and such. And I did know that, you know, throughout listening to the music on YouTube music, which is of course the YouTube version of Apple music, it's actually very, um, Musically at the start, very Viva La Vida, which is of course Coldplay's song, and it's also not too dissimilar to, <gasps> pardon me, not too dissimilar to uh, Monica's Double Corazon, which is Double Hearts. So let's get on with figure as much lyrics wise. I'm actually planning on breaking down the lyrics as we go along, like recycling and chopping up the song but so we can get a much better incentive as we go along but it definitely would seem you know with expressions like grande destino and stuff like that just talking or singing about how great europe is because europe is a magnificent country but first let's listen to the whole song obviously it'll be a first for me um i do believe that someone did uh request for me to react to europa um there was another request as well for something live. I did try searching up for said something alive, but just could not really um, jot down the exact request by title. And another artist just kept popping up, so I just thought, you know what, let's just react to Michael Ranhorn's Europa. And then I'm also pronouncing a surname correctly. Vamos! <laughs> So, so far at the start here, we've got um, Monica leaning over a little bit, it's like a very half-ish squat, a golden outfit, and like I said with the music in the beginning, it is a very Viva La Vida Coldplay song. It's just, you know, distinctly the sounding the same. On YouTube music, however, it's actually um, a slightly different musical intro, but then otherwise, once it gets to the music video part of the song part, music-wise, it then switches over to Viva La Vida type of song. Uh, type of music, I meant to say. Have we got this skeleton throne? Or something like that? And a very quick imagery of a larger Monica's face on the big screen and a smaller Monica in the golden outfit. And back to this skeletal throne or something. Clearly it's, um, I'm gonna get the incentive of, um, I could be way off mark here, but it's given me a lot of um, Dia de la Morte, Day of the Dead. Um, apologies, I meant Dia de los Mortes. It's like this bones, a throne, something like that. And the living dead, the dead, skeletal remains and such. Again, could be way off mark, but that's just from so far getting plus two Spanish. Alright, let's continue. So far as well as um, switching back and forth between uh, Monica standing in the golden outfit to a close up of her face in a totally different angle to black and white shots, which I am a complete sucker for black and white. Uh, she definitely shows more emotion than what um, you know colour does. I mean, you can still see a lot of emotion in colour, but I just figure I just see that colour just hits different. Let's continue. In my palace, it was the juventud. When I sang, I dreamed of you.
sentí querida, mimada por la vida, ciega de delirante ilusión. Ario de amor, mientras aplauden tras el telón, en el hogar. Quite the musical plot twist, <laughs> but when I was listening through on Apple Music, um, just like with Double Corazon, how it was um, very operatic to begin with, very the very theatrical, like you read the opera. Um, then it switched over to more techno, trap, beat, hip hop, pop, back to electro. You know, her vocals went up to the highest notes, very Ariana Grande, if you will. And so far in this shot, exactly as well, you see her rising up from this skeletal mountain or something or mountain of skeletal remains it's like we must <laughs> no expression though <laughs> Oh, not that guy. Right there, she looks like a psychiatric patient. Moving on. That slight rock fix, that like pop rock that we all need, you know, it really helps to energize the song some more, like add some energy into it. Um, plus, very, how would you describe it? Um, um, it's very thriller, like late, uh, late 90s thriller, um, which of course brings me to um, Wednesday. Um, Jenna Ortega's Wednesday Adams Google Mark how when she was um, digging up through different dance styles and she came across late 80s and 90 issues um, at rock back then, the dancing and such. Just a very electric, very psychedelic. Um, <laughs> back when special effects were still coming a ways. Type of rock right here. So it's really hitting those 80s, 90s feels as well. Rock music wise, visual effects. Monica really does hit it all. Bit of an army. Now I'm just loving how there's like a multiple layer, it's very um, modern technology going- modern technology? Modern graphics right now, like it's manly army, um, the way they're just roboticalized and in sync with each other, like very, 
like the same creations, avatars if you will, not, ja <coughs> not James Cameron's avatar but the other type of avatar and not um, the last airbender avatar but the other, other avatar um, and I like how that there was um, kind of like a flag motion of Monica coming forward um, love how there was that like 80s 90s type of music style um, even if, if it was in Spain translation terms but it's also very um covering all of Europe go figure and you know, just the way we all started to hear the sound of rock music like punk rock um, including with the visual psychedelic rocks um, visualizing it's like how there's like three different blends it's very um very old um, like the bone structure, bone environments, more kind of golden outfits, very um, modern right here. Um, yeah, we'll go through, back through it as we go along. After we go along, I realised how that sounded, after we go along and we double back, um, we'll dissect everything. <laughs> I really don't know what she was saying in a techno voice. I tried to keep up lyrics wise but could not catch what she was saying anywhere there. Well definitely along the way she was um, definitely preaching about how great Europe is. Grande is basically another incentive word for that. That's the part we start to dissect a bit. So originally it was going from it's going from um, golden outfits to very blurry in visual uh, to the skeletal seats seat really um, which I just get such a dear dead or not dead vibe from that day of the dead I'm not really too entirely sure what the what the bones represented exactly apart from maybe something that's living dead something that has once been a memory and such I mean obviously I won't be able to translate every single one of these lyrics we go with E Europa Grande and I will be using uh, this app right here which is not English um, rephrase which is not Google Translate which is another app that really helps E Europa es grande, I believe the sentence was. And Europe is great, that's that sentence. Let's just see if I can't search for what each of the lyrics is in English. Okay, I've actually managed to score an English translation. Oh, sorry, blurry. Come on, come back. Come on, come back. <coughs> Pardon me, gracias. Okay, I was the sun's golden rose, a rain of wine, a bubble of love. And youth was my place, a palace, sorry. And youth was my palace. Whenever I sang, you would dream. I had the glory, I had a devotion, and I felt loved, pampered by life. Blindness by delirious illusion. An aria 
Renaria of Love while they applaud behind the curtain. At dusk, the old god dies. Anaria or Anaria of Love, a chimera, a song for victory is so great and Europe so great. Oh, today, faith is magnificent. Poisoned, poisoned by love, poisoned, poisoned by love. I was at Nation's Diva. My voice filled the greatest theatres and my palace, which had been so beautiful yesterday, eventually became cold as marble and full of loneliness. The decline, the final solution, among the thousands of flags, crosses and skulls, symbols of pipe dreams, I lost you. An area of love, while they applaud behind the curtain, you die at dusk, old Europe all alone, oh insane and defeated. Ah. And there's like this talking moment that she had with herself. But why is it so dark in here? Well, there's darkness. I am desperate. I am drunk. I am drunk with love. Well, that would explain why the word um, Spanish-ish spelled alcohol was in there. And it says alcohol in the next sentence along. I can hear the bombs, eagles of terror, and I dream of the rubbish that surround your shape, and I take refuge in alcohol. Can't help it feel it's a little bit warish quoted there. Especially, I can hear the bombs, eagles of terror. Um, eagles of terror, I would say that the um, air assault. Again, I could be off mark referring to the wars that happened in um, Spain, Pueblo, Spain. I believe it originally um, cracked open there, cracked off there, I should say. Um, it's definitely um, a war that happened in either Spain specific or Mexico. I really do need to brush up on that exact fact. But nonetheless, hence the very um, appropriately celebrated, not through Halloween, just because it's a um, skull mask, sugar skull mask, not even a mask, it's painted, although I think you can get um, its mask version. Hence the um, appropriately celebrated to honour the dead, Day of the Dead, Dia de la Morte. I can hear the bombs, eagles of terror, and a dream of the rubbish that surrounds your shape. And I'll take refuge in alcohol. In other words, probably so many people had become vague D-R-U-N-K-S um, post of the war that went on because of how terrifying and terrible it all was. An area of love, a chimera. An area of love, a chimera, a song for defeat is so great and Europe so great. Oh, finally both you and I have become great. Poison, poison by love, poison, poison by love. I do think it talks about um the goodness that was there, and how great all the leaders used to be. Um, but I do also vaguely feel like it's a subtle hint towards. I think if I feel like it's a vague hint towards um the war that happened in Spain. All right, let's just kind of take up lyrics in English and run a kind of around whole Europe. Uh, meaning. Oh, I was just about. Right on the dollar. Meaning of Europa by Monica Naranjo. 
The song Europe Ha by Monica and Anho is a lament for the past glory of Europe during a time of war and conflict. Then a radio is looking back on her past life full of beauty, love and glamour, but now she finds herself in a wheel of darkness and despair. She hears the bombs and cries of terror as her dreams fall into ruin around her. Despite the, de despite the devastation of the war and its effects on Europe, she still holds out hope for a better future with Arias of love and song. In the end, the narrator, fi the narrator finally accepts that life is now a much different story and recognizes the trends in both her and her, in both her and Europe, despite their hardships. I was right on the dollar. Yes, it took some translating, literally. But yeah, that my battery is running low, so we got the lyrics translated and faster in English as well. Again, Spanish is not my first language. Battery is now running very low. So this was my reaction to Monica Naranjo's Europa music video. Such a beautiful music video as well. I love how there was um definitely the visual incentive of past tense, like very past tense, 1849 or somewhere around that date. I could be making those numbers up just a little bit, but then far more modernized, like we are today, even though the video was posted 13 years ago. But of course, the war itself happened way sooner than that. Gracias por verte y te veres por mis videos. Adiós.